on the outside and to our extended family and friends, everybody thought everything was great. But unfortunately, life has a way of teaching you how difficult life can be. Linda Amick. Oh, trouble, here we trouble. go, here we are. I don't know that I could be who I am if I hadn't gone through some of that. That was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. On the other side is the first time I felt freedom in my life. I grew up here in South Carolina, and I went to a dirt race. I didn't even know that world existed, and so it was the coolest thing in the world to me. NASCAR became the answer, and at that time, the Goodies Dash Series existed, which was four-cylinder cars that toured around, would race some of the big tracks like Daytona. He's got to do it. Linda Amy wins the Daytona USA 200 at the tender age of 18. We won four races in 96, won the championships. It's just amazing to be out here. I was like, well, okay. Well, then uh, what's the next step? Well, it's got to be the next tier. If you're going to be doing NASCAR at that level, it takes everything that you have, and there's a lot of sacrifices that are made. At the core, when it really becomes who you are, there's an added stress because you have good weeks and you have bad weeks. Something happened on the inside of me. Post 9-11, I had felt like, what am I doing with my life? 10 years from go-karts to NASCAR, I felt like I had given everything and had not had this level of success that I wanted, and it was time to, to do something different. Talladega of 03 was my last race. I was running up towards the front, getting a wreck, was sliding down off the banking. I'm just like, I'm done. Before I could unbuckle the seat belts, I knew that, that was it. You know, as I pondered the freedoms that I was able to experience being an American, and I had some sense of the sacrifice that had been given in order for us to have the freedoms that we have, I felt like I owed something for that. There birthed a desire to serve my country. When Lyndon made the decision to join the National Guard, I knew at that point Lyndon was going to do what he set his mind to do. The fact that I was a NASCAR driver never came up for probably seven weeks in. Who would even think that I would even be at basic training anyway? I think the good thing was they didn't let that affect how they saw me as a soldier. And they were asking me, like, what, what are you doing? And for me to be able to tell them, hey, like, this is what I, I want to do. I think the experiences in Afghanistan changed me in a thousand different ways. If we leave here and get in the car and drive down the road, we're not worried about getting blown up. Every time you wake up, you're faced with the reality of those are possibilities today. That's some serious residual effect from being in a combat zone and you come back and you just don't know how to put it together. It was very difficult for him to have normal conversations. And then had no clue of what it really meant to be a dad and what it really meant to be a husband. I mean, I love my kids, but I was not a good husband. Say, I'm bigger than you, Daddy. I'm bigger than you, Daddy. <laughs> I had lived this life just doing whatever I wanted to do. I mean, hardly ever home. I mean, I was running from myself. The agitation, the frustration, the on edge, um, not able to sleep. He was very broken at that point. For me to get where I am today, which is, is living in peace and happiness and joy, was encountering God's love in a way that I had never experienced before through Melanie. There was a response in me of wanting to change who I was. It was a terrible and a beautiful thing all at the same time for your heart to be exposed to yourself. The catalyst was that act of me sitting down with Melanie and laying it all out there. I just said, we need to be seen for who we are. As hard as that conversation was, on the other side of that conversation is the first time I felt freedom in my life. The weight of the world was lifted off my shoulders and I felt peace. My favorite part of our story 
is, is now. We're doing life in a way that we never dreamed possible. And maybe it's because we've been through something. What's on the other side of that is we don't take anything for granted. I went through all those different experiences, whether it was racing or the military. And as a dad now, and how much I value being a dad and how, how important I know it is in their life. I don't know that I could be who I am if I hadn't gone through some of that.